Dermot, happy, yeah, happy New Year and a happy New Year for Crawley. Yeah, absolutely. Um, wonderful result. Really uh, a, a testing time over the festive period, I thought, apart from the poor first half at Orient. And I watched the game at home with Matt and I thought the lads done admirable against uh, Plymouth. Stonewall penalty, Stonewall sending off and adversity to then play a team that's had a day's extra rest against us. Very physical, very direct. Mentality was fantastic. Um, quality on the ball after the first 15 minutes, but you know the the team ethic was really important. I thought, and you know, uh, really, really pleased. It's a very open game, I guess. Uh, towards the end, both sides running on empty a little bit at the end of, at the end of the hectic, uh, festive schedule. But mm. a lot of chances, weren't there? Great chances for us and good saves as well by Glenn. Yeah, he pulls off saves. That's why Matt calls him the cat, I think. Um, <laughs> And he does that, Glenn, yeah, he's this very reactionary type keeper, you know, a lot of keepers now are very tall. Um, but Glenn has, over the period of time I've watched him, has grown on me, if I'm honest, and um, he's an experienced guy in and around the dressing room as well, and he does pull out the saves, um, and I'm very pleased uh, with his performance today. You gave Dean Cox a start, and he's repaid you by creating the first of what we hope will be many goals mm. in that corner for the uh, for Joshua Woods header. How did yeah. you think he did? Well, I knew he'd be blowing, and Dean knew he'd be blowing, and, and the good thing is this is his first start, you know, but he's in, you don't lose your intelligence, you don't lose your touch, no matter how long you're out of the game, and um, he does some things and touches, he, he finds space, um, that is very hard to mark, and he's, he's just a very experienced player like that, you don't have to say what to do with him, um, and he's been there, you know, and uh, I think he, 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 there's some class touches around corners, and he will only get better and better, and he brings a another dimension like we said to the team and um, he's a very workmanlike, honest individual but also a very talented player. And a nice moment as well for James Collins today, his 100th career goal, that penalty yeah. and uh, he put it away really well actually and just gave us that cushion didn't it? Yeah, I think I think he's, uh, I, I do sing his praises and I want to be careful not singing too much with him but you trust him, simple as a coach you trust him and I think he Matt was saying he came in at half time apologising for the near miss at Plymouth, and that's the type of guy he is. Um, but he's always in and around, you know, and that's why he's a proven goal scorer and he's a threat uh, to any defence. Now, the three at the back, the formation, you've had that now for what, two and a half games? Mm. Seems to be working pretty well. Good clean sheet today. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, at times we went to a four, I think, with Lewis and Josh coming out, and they're defenders, and I think the, 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 if they work off one another, initially the first half, uh, Khan was getting one on one with, with uh, Mark Connolly, and we were Matt was saying about pulling Lewis slightly back in. So tactically, we have to do it. it it's it's going to be uh, let's see how it goes. You know, I think they've done very well admirably. Um, if we get an injury, it might have to go back to two if I think it's necessary. But I think with Jordan now, uh, the wide players and the bench looking stronger, we, we that formation. Like I did say at the fans' form, I wouldn't change, and I'm sure they're going to remind me that I've changed and. Sometimes you've got to evolve, haven't you? you know, so I was very pleased with the formation. January is with us. Transfer window mm. has opened. What are the chances of any more activity? Well, obviously, Dean is in now, but uh, yeah. you're looking as well for further additions? Uh, yeah, I think we will, Bruce. Um, I think one's coming close, but obviously we'll wait to announce that uh, pretty soon. And then I'll update on the loan boys uh, once I spoke to Chelsea and see how we go on that. And uh, after three games in a week, uh, boys deserve a couple of days off now, don't they? It's been well, a really absolutely. heavy schedule, especially with the travelling as well on absolutely. Saturday. Absolutely. I mean, uh, Matt Gray's been outstanding. Uh, and I, and I, I mean that sincerely. He's, he's worked, he's taken control of everything. He took the line. He got back from Plymouth and him and Mark went to Kelly's fancy dress party at uh, New Year's Eve. And uh, Matt, went in, Matt went in normal gear and he won. <laughs> so, you know, he's uh, Mark went as a stand-up comedian. Um, but, yeah, they've, they've worked tirelessly and, and Matt was up the next day. Uh, taking the sessions and the boys were in and Matt, Matt pointed out to me it's normal to these players you know and um, that's something I learned I've learned this festive period it's a, it's a tough period and uh, I don't think I even made it you know so we've had a, we've had a, even though we've got three out of nine you know to be two defeats and then come into a tough game I think we've I said to the lads we've showed optimism to turn this into a positive season.